much. Now at 5.30, we are learning some new details about a deadly weekend shooting in which two men were killed. And family members say their loved ones were both robbed of bright futures. Tonight, police are working to find out if the deadly attack was random or targeted. CBS News Miami's Peter Dench talked to a victim's sister. Miami police say it's still not clear why both men were shot and killed, if they were targeted or if this was random. Meanwhile, the sister of one victim is searching for answers. It was a suyard, stayed itself, never bothered nobody. Yeah, real humble person, loved basketball. Ashley Joe remembers the happier times for her 26 year old brother Antoine, such as his moments on the basketball court for St. Thomas University. Now Ashley is grieving for a brother who was gunned down this past weekend. What did he mean to you and the family? Everything. Kind of lost without him. You can't believe that this happened? No. Not to him. Not to somebody that was innocent. Not to somebody that ain't bothered nobody. Miami police say it appears both Joe and his friend, 24-year-old Tyler Bradley Royal, were inside this black car when they were originally shot at around 4 p.m. on Saturday on Northwest 12th Avenue at 42nd Street. I just can't believe it happened to him, to, to him, to Tyler. He was a great person, too. Uh, always made sure he was okay whenever we seen him. They were both great people. Uh, when they play basketball together. In a statement, the president of St. Thomas University said in part, the saddest news today, we lost Antoine Joe too soon to senseless violence. A great young man from a wonderful family. All of us must stand up to protect our greatest resource. Police spokeswoman Kiera Delva says detectives need help. A senseless violence has to stop. We have to come together at one point. We have to speak with the police. We have to work together as a joint community to stop this random act of violence. The smallest tip can help our detectives close out a case. Like I said, I just want to know who. I mean, ain't not really much more to say to that. Miami police do not have a description to release of the shooter. If you can help, call them or Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers at 305-471-TIPS. There is a reward in this case of up to $5,000. In Miami, Peter Dench, CBS News, Miami.